Back under the hood of the Ram, we need to remove a few parts on the front of the engine to gain access to the belt. So we'll pull the fan shroud brackets, loosen the fan nut with a 48 millimeter wrench, then we can lift the fan and shroud out at the same time. I got some bad news for you though. What's that? Jeremy? You just went and lied on national television. How's that? You said you weren't gonna help me. And you helped me. We have to remove a plug in the back of the stock injection pump, but be very careful so nothing falls out. We'll switch the small spring over from the stock plug to the supplied fitting, and we'll reinstall it, making sure that the check ball is still in place, because without it, your truck won't start. Then, torque the fitting. The Bosch CP3 is a piston-style high-pressure injection pump that's actually found on both the Cummins and the GM Duramax. Now, under wide-open throttle, this thing can actually pump out between 26 and 29,000 PSI. It's a pretty serious pump. And on the back, there are three fittings. This threaded guy right here, well, that's the main feed that normally goes to the rail. This one is the low-pressure inlet, which basically fuel from the lift pump comes in. And this is the low pressure return where excess fuel is simply sent back to the tank. Earlier, you saw us install a fitting in the bottom of the lower injection pump. That's actually where the upper pump is going to feed into. But it's basically the same thing as plumbing this into the fuel rail because these share a common cavity. So the only thing we have left to do now is to get the bracket mocked up and bolted onto the truck. The main bracket goes together by installing some carriage bolts. Then we'll assemble the idler pulley and spacer. The bracket installs into four existing holes in the timing case, and the hardware gets torqued. Next, the fleece CP3K slides into the bracket, and more carriage bolts hold it in place. While the factory CP3 is driven by a gear, the second pump is driven by the serpentine belt. With a supplied heavy duty belt routed and in place, we can torque the main nut on the injection pump. Mm. 